Hello, dear friends. Today I'm recording again a video that will remove many fears. Please watch it completely from the beginning to the end and do not get distracted. We don't live in a time that allows us distractions. Then I ask you to spread this video to all the people who are afraid because of the situation we live in, because of the deaths, because of the confusion. They don't have reference points. They do not know how to orient themselves and they are afraid. So the first advice is to subscribe to this channel, click on the bell, enter into the channel, watch the entire videos. I created a folder on purpose. You can see it below on the left. I assure you that if you watch these videos carefully, you will have clearer ideas about what's happening. Then spread these videos naturally with the utmost commitment for the good of all. I'm studying Marian messages uh, that the Heavenly Mother gives uh, to various visionaries uh, scattered throughout the world, a kind of message that has been always concealed, especially in recent centuries, and the urgent moment has come to know it, precisely because humanity is not ready to face the times that will come. In fact, I've spoken to many people about this uh, plague, and they all tell me, but well, it will always happen. These are the cycle of history that repeat themselves. And they do continue, continue repeating it. But the Heavenly Mother say quite the opposite. Apparitions in Carbonia, Sardinia, 2017. Men do not want to understand. They do not pay attention to the signs. They lead a life of blasphemers. They say that everything that happens has always happened. That history is full of difficult moments and that repeat themselves. Valeria Copponi, Apparitions in Rome, 2009. My Times announced by my early prophets are taking place. Someone thinks that life is always the same, the cycles repeat themselves. Children, it's not that way. You are taking everything, you are taking everything for granted. Kofi Annan, a few years ago, he had privately financed 1,500 scientists to analyze the biosphere of the planet, and they all have signed a document stating that if we go on with this piece in the span of few decades, the planet will become completely sterile. It will no longer produce anything such as fruit, vegetables, wheat, nothing. So even the people who neglect these messages should stop and start reflecting. But let's go back to the messages of the Celestial Mother which are even more important than scientific data. Luz de Maria, Apparitions in Argentina, 2015. These moments are not like others that preceded them. I'm hearing my children saying there have been always disasters, there have been always earthquakes, there have been always plagues, always, always but not like in this moment, my beloved ones. There will be moments to come when everything will become tough. Everything will get tough. Everything will get tough. The wars will increase. The natural disasters will increase. The economy will fall. The diseases will increase. Therefore, in which historical cycle we are living in? Paratico, Apparitions in Brescia, 1996. Dear children, read the passage from the Gospel of Luke. Yes, Luke the Evangelist, at chapter 21. 
Here, children, the times have come when the forces of Satan are unleashing. People are starting to fight against other people. And you may say, but mom, it has been always this way. No, dear children, think carefully. What mom is coming to tell you are not the things of all the times. They are the things of these times. In the Gospel of Luke at chapter 21, it talks about the second coming of Jesus. We are living the time of the tribulation of St. John, which precedes the return of Christ, the hardest times ever lived from humanity. People who keep saying it has always happened, it has always happened, in a way that we no longer say that it has always happened. Carbonia, 2012. We have said that everything is natural, that it is in nature, but I tell you that you are wrong and that you will soon realize it. 2012. You repeat that it has always happened, but I tell you, children, that all this is nothing compared to what is to come. People who stop saying that it has always happened, but for many it will be too late. And that is why I keep saying, let's spread these messages, help me to spread these videos. Gaetano Marino, Apparitions in Calabria, 2012. Their children, the earth is full of pain because men continue to kill and disobey the laws of God. Gian Pilieri, Apparitions in Sicily, 2003. Do not draw your sword. Do remember what God says. Who by the sword wounds, by the sword dies. Three soldiers in 1973 they participated in a guerrilla war in Spain. They were armed, they had a rifle, they entered into a village and see a statue of the Heavenly Mother on the roof of a house. One of these soldiers says, let's see who shot better the infamous object. The first soldier shoot the statue, hits her in the forehead. The second hits her in the chest and the third hits her to the leg. And what happens? The first one who shot in the forehead dies from a bullet got in the forehead. The second that have shot to the chest, the next day he dies from a bullet that pierces his chest. The third one was shot to the leg, is then shot to the leg, exactly where he hit the statue. Before dying, he managed to go to Dr. Favas and tell him the whole episode in details, an episode that was then quoted on the magazine Universe in Paris. All the evil that we do, it comes back sometimes with precise modalities like it happened to the soldiers and sometimes with modalities and timing that we do not understand. However, all the evil comes back. El Escorial Apparitions in Spain, 1983. The punishment will be greater in the places where there was more sin. Lutz de Maria, 2015. I do not punish you. You children end up receiving the reaction of the bad deeds you commit. You transgress my law, and for this you will suffer. In the first message it speaks about punishment, then says I don't punish you. What these punishments consist of? Apparitions of Brazil, 2016. 
The father is really very angry with the sins of the world. He can no longer bear to see so many crimes, so much injustice, abortions, sins, blasphemies, sacrileges, and wickedness everywhere. That is why he, to warn men, he allows the increase of cyclones, floods, earthquakes that we have already seen and felt everywhere. He will allow new droughts, new famines. He will allow new plagues until the last punishment that will be tremendous and formidable. Tremendous and formidable. God's punishment consists in allowing the consequences of our negative actions to affect us. Abortions, violence, evil, injustices, indifferences, the Father punishes us by allowing to come droughts, famines, epidemics, floods, earthquakes, volcano eruptions. Then, as we are living the time of the second coming of Jesus, the punishment will come directly from God which will be tremendous for the sinners and formidable for the people who have put into practice the laws of God. Luke 18 But when man's son will come, will he find faith on earth? In the text of tribulation, it speaks about destruction, diseases, catastrophes, precisely because Jesus already knew that humanity in these times would lose the faith, that would transgress the laws of God, and all evil would come back. But as I told you at the beginning of the video, if you watch all this video, many fears would disappear. So what we have to do? San Bonico, Apparitions in Piacenza. Message number eight. The Heavenly Mother says to always recite the Rosary. Always. Cavarzera Apparitions in Venice, 2013. Do not break the Rosary chain. Do not listen to the people who deviate you who want to make you say other prayers. Zaro, Apparitions in Ischia, Naples, 1997. Dear children, the prayer of the Holy Rosary is truly irreplaceable and no other prayer can equal in its effectiveness. Trevignano Romano, 2016. I insist on asking to recite the rosary and who will teach to others he will have his head covered with pearls. Medjugorje, Apparitions in Bosnia, 1985. Dear children, I urge you to invite everyone at the recitation of the rosary. The Heavenly Mother asks to always recite the rosary and to spread this prayer because it is the most effective and even if they tell us to replace this prayer with another we must go on reciting the rosary let's see this video
the image of a rosary appears on the wall in a house, but it was not the effect of the sun. The rosary of the statue in the sanctuary of Pompeii begins to sway. It is photographed. The water poured on the forehead of a child during baptism and it takes the form of a rosary. A rosary is filmed in the sky in Mexico. The Heavenly Mother in various ways wants to communicate to humanity that we should pray the rosary. Giglio tra le spine apparitions in Rome approved also by Father Amort, who was a Mariologist. Message of 2014. Pray the Rosary, which is the strongest weapon. Maracaibo apparitions from Venezuela. Children, change now as long as there is still time. The Rosary will be the weapon which you will fight with. Paratico 1995. Our weapons are not the swords, not even the rifles. Our weapons are the beads of the Holy Rosary. Salvatore Caputa, Apparitions in Mantua, 2005. The Rosary is for everyone, the powerful weapon to use in these times. Michelino Marco Vecchio, Apparitions of Mount Sant'Onofrio, 2012. The Holy Rosary has a power that you still do not perceive. The Rosary has a power that we do not know. It has been called the powerful weapon, especially for these times, so it should fight wars, epidemics, diseases, the natural disasters. Let's try to understand. Lutz de Maria, 2013. The Earth globe is deeply inclined in every crevice it penetrates the darkness. It is the darkness of man's sin that penetrates into the bowels of the earth. It is the darkness of the consciousness of this generation. Zaro, 2020. I have seen many black shadows spreading over the world under his feet and wherever the shadows would come, there was devastation and desolation. Trevignano Romano, 2020. My children, the negative influences on earth will cause earthquakes and will be stronger and stronger. Our thoughts emanate waves, frequencies, electromagnetic energies. Thanks to the visualization technique of the gas shot GDV, used especially in Russia, they have discovered that our thoughts have a material nature that we cannot perceive by touch, obviously. However, it has an energy that goes through the walls, even the thickest walls. Professor Bernaschi, 1958, had discovered with the proper instruments the presence of a ring of a magnetic field of an energy membrane that surrounds the planet. In this magnetic field, it is contained the memory of all life forms and it is stored our emotional impulses. In Iraq in 1991 and in 2003, two wars broke out. So there was a lot of hatred, resentment, anger, revenge. And, uh, and look at the case. In Iraq, they found a presence of a large shadow area of a large area of darkness. Our negative thoughts emanates darkness. 
Professor Bernaski added that we must learn to contain our negative emotions so that they do disturb the planet, that we react in an increasingly violent way with environmental catastrophes and extreme climate change. So in simple words, Professor Bernaski said that our negative thinking emanates darkness that is absorbed by the Earth magnetic field and causes natural environmental catastrophes, just as the Heavenly Mother said in the messages I have just read. Jacare, 2014. I have come to ask you for an ardent love for the Holy Rosary. That is my favorite prayer. I gave my rosary to my Domenico of Guzman, but the devil wasted no time and led it many to deny the celestial origin of the Holy Rosary, attributing it to a human invention and not to a revelation given by me to my beloved Domenico of Guzman. The Heavenly Mother in 1212 appears to Dominic of Guzman and gives him a rosary to fight pacifically. So it's a weapon. The heresies who were sneaking into the church. In 1213, Dominic of Guzman, while he was evangelizing in Spain, is kidnapped from the pirates and taken to a ship. One night, a storm breaks out that was wrecking the ship and the Heavenly Mother appears again to Dominic of Guzman and she says, the only way to save the crew is to agree to praise me and pray the rosary. The pirates accept the request, they put it into practice and what happens? The sea comes down immediately and the pirates consequently all converted to God. Lutz de Maria, 2015 Beloved, the volcanoes will wake up all over the world. Pray to appease them. Trevignano Romano, 2020 Beloved children, continue every day in prayer, especially the recitation of the Holy Rosary. Earthquakes, devastating storms, tsunamis will not stop. Only the prayer recited with the hearth can change something, but everything will have to be fulfilled because it is written so. As I told you, everything is to happen because it's the second coming of Jesus. Michelino Marco Vecchio, here it describes a vision received in 2014, and sees a wide valley submerged by rainwater where only the peaks of the mountains were visible. Immediately in sequence, the Virgin Mary showed Michelino the squares crowded of faithful people gathered in prayer. As the Heavenly Mother showed Michelino the squares crowded of faithful people gathered in prayer, the level of the water that covered the valley slowly retreated. Exactly, the rosary removes the darkness and the planet is not obliged to defend itself, not to react to this energy of imbalance and catastrophes decrease. The water in the valleys decrease, the earthquakes and volcanoes come down. Gaetano Marino, 2009. In the world, the places of shadow are superior to the places of light. In the shadow areas, fierce ranks of my enemies push the souls towards the ruin. In this time, my children, I will not let you alone. Cavarzere, 
Venice 2014. There are so many demons around my children. The black shadow spreads. Carbonia 2017. The demons have now radiated all over the earth. The shadow areas of darkness are an ideal habitat for the demons. The shadow areas are more than the light ones, so the planet is infested with demons, and this is a big problem. Peter 1. Be temperate, watch over. Your enemy, the devil, as a roaring lion, goes around looking for who to devour. Jacare, 2017. Watch and pray, because the devil, your enemy, is prowling around looking for who to devour. Zaro, 2014. There was an ancient enemy, like a small dragon, that nourished by our sins, by our weakness, became bigger and bigger. Our eye perceives a narrow range of frequencies. We don't see, for example, the radio waves, the X-rays, the gamma rays, the infrared ones, and demons have frequencies that our eye does not perceive. But I know a gentleman who lives in Peru, he also does some exorcism, his eyes perceive a wider range of frequencies and he can see the demons. There are a various kind of. Those that he sees are about as tall as us. They float on the ground. They do not have a face, a neck, a well-defined shape. They have a kind of veil and they are very dark. He told me they are blacker than the darkness. They are so dark because they are disconnected from the divine source, from the Holy Spirit. So they need energy and they can feed themselves only with our low negative emotions, anger, hate, frustrations, anger, revenge. Feeding themselves, as the Heavenly Mother said, their body grows actually because their own body is composed by our low negative emotions. Therefore, the demons are intelligent energy vampires with an electromagnetic body. My friend from Peru told me that with the arrival of this plague, the demons have increased dramatically in number. He sees them even during the day, in the middle of the street. Actually, because this climate of panic and terror has been created that hosts them, it feeds them. Capua, apparitions in Caserta, 2002. Satan is hungry and thirsty of souls. Carbonia, 2014. Satan is devouring millions of souls. He is emptying them of their lives. He is making them his slaves. In some messages, the Heavenly Mother says that Satan feeds on our low emotions. In other messages, she says that he feeds of our souls. There is such combination of souls and emotions, just because the soul is also an emotional field. When Satan feeds with the sap of our soul, he makes us slaves. And what happens? Jacaray, 2015. Satan is on hunt over you, looking for easy access to throw you in mortal sin. 
Trevignano Romano, 2017. Forgive and do not get discouraged. Do not get angry because you will become weaker and in the weakness Satan will creep into you. The demons, they do introduce into the soul a negative emotion, the famous temptation, for example, to get angry, hating someone. If you do not fall in the temptation, do not get angry, Satan has no access points. He cannot hurt you. If you get angry, then you open the door to Satan who begins to feed himself from your sins of your low emotions. My friend in Peru has seen these dark shadows wrapping people like a clock. They are spirits of mental domination. The spirits of a physical possession are different and are even more powerful. Cavarzere 2003 In this period there is Satan around. That is the reason why you feel bad. You are not yourself anymore. You are not yourself anymore. Your mind is confused. Hatred and resentment. Swipe it off, my children. Swipe it off. Valeria Copponi, Apparitions in Rome, 2014. How many corpses circulate around you? You would die of pain seeing so many of your brothers surrounded on all sides by evil spirits. These children of mine do not notice how they are chained by the enemy. They are helpless and they are no longer themselves who decide about their life to come. When we feed them with hatred, anger, resentment, they stick on us and they continue to ask for feeding. They introduce in us some emotions, impulses, and control our wills, our behaviors, without us realizing it. We are no longer the masters of ourselves, as the Heavenly Mother told and said. When they begin to dominate us, what can happen? Gian Piglieri, 2003. How strong and continuous are the attacks of evil spirits to hit you, even in your physical life, with accidents, disgraces, attacks, diseases, disasters, onset of violence, of wars and revolutions. They manage to create combinations. They make sure that we are in the right place at the right time to create accidents. They do so that we meet people with whom we will quarrel. They stimulate hyperproduction of adrenaline, of peaks of anger, of violence uncontrollable, frictions, divisions, misunderstandings, revolutions, and worse. It's them who are our actual enemies. Ephesians 6, letter of St. Paul, put on weapons of God to be able to defend against the pitfalls of the devil, because it is neither against the flesh nor against the blood that we must fight, but against the prince doms and the authorities, against the rulers of this world, of this place of darkness, against the evil spirits that are in the air. Our major enemies have neither flesh or bones. However, but practically no one talks about it. So, to begin to counter them, we bring this truth to light. 
never get angry in WhatsApp or Facebook groups if they attack you unnecessarily and then you're on the right side, rather better to be silent and get exorcised water, oil and salt. Put them on the doors of the house, on the walls, on the floors. Please do it. Paratico, 2001. My children, I would like to ask you for a constant commitment in prayer and especially in the works. Jacare, 2017. Always remember that faith without deeds is dead. I believe only in the love of those children who give me deeds, deeds of love. Therefore, be the true children of God and not the fakes who speak, speak, but don't do anything. El Escorial in Spain, 1998. Prayer without deeds is vain, my daughter. How many are moving the lips without moving the heart? And when they met a poor needy, they tell him, God bless you, brother. What kind of prayer do mankind? I already told you, my daughter, and I repeat, scream out that are not those who say, Lord, Lord, who will enter into the kingdom of heaven. The Heavenly Mother insists on recalling the passage of the gospel that says it will not be those who say, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of God. A message addressed above all to people who pray, and when they see a beggar outside the church, they pretend not to see him. They pray and do not spread these messages. They pray and do nothing to improve this world. Prayer becomes hypocritical and it is not appreciated. Cavarzere 2020. Prayer and charity go hand in hand. Give something also to those in need. Jenny, a visionary from Puglia, Lecce, message of 2018. Didn't I tell you stay close to those who are in need? To those who are lonely and desperate, didn't I tell you, do good deeds? Here, my children, I do not see all this. I do not see love, neither charity or good deeds, neither towards one's brother, nor towards the others. What's the point to pray and go to church if you do not do what I'm asking for? Why you do not listen, my children? How far away you are still, my children, from my teachings, from my words. You preach love, but you do not know then how to love. Jesus hath said, Be light. Bring your light to the world with your good deeds. Keep your lamps laid on. As I told you before, our soul is also an emotional field. When we give alms to starving children, when we find a job for a homeless man, when we shop for a family in difficulty, even if they do not thank us, we feel happy. We are okay with our conscience. We are high. At that moment, our soul lights up, it increases its frequencies, it increases its light. Zaro, April 2000. You are the children of the light and you should live in it. 2003. You remain united in prayer because it will be donated the Holy Spirit. Jacare, 2016. And so, be attentive here, as the cobras flee from the heat of the fire, Satan and demons flee from you and also flee from all those who are close to you. The demons have no power to get closer to those who are next to you thanks to your flame of love. 
because your voice, wherever it goes, it brings my flame of love. If you knew how much light comes off your mouth when you pray the Holy Rosary and how much this light blowers, blinds and paralyzes Satan and the demons, you would pray my Rosary non-stop day and night. When we combine prayers and deeds, we raise our light, we raise our frequencies, and with the Rosary, we host the Holy Spirit, the light of God, a fire, a flame of love that burns, drives out, paralyzes, blinds the demons. We make them, let's say, evacuate. Since the demons instigate the revolts, the wars, so the Heavenly Mother is supposed to tell us that with the Rosary we can remove, alleviate, mitigate, cancel the wars. Salvatore Caputta, Apparitions in Mantua 2002, recite the Holy Rosary to obtain the spell from the risk of war. Caetano Marino, 2009, pray for peace and your prayers will ward off the wars. Valeria Copponi, 2002, you can only drive the wars away with a fervent, conscious, daily beating prayer. Jacare, 2014, do remember the way I saved Austria from communist domination through the Holy Rosary, I also saved Portugal from satanic dominion through the power of the Holy Rosary. The Soviet army have invaded Austria in 1945, just after the Second World War was over. <clears throat> after a few years, Thousands and thousands of Austrians, including the Prime Minister, begin to pray the Rosary every day. On May 13, 1955, which is exactly the anniversary of the apparition of Fatima, the Soviet army, without any apparent reason, begins to retreat. On October 26, 1955, the retreat ends without even a single death. Instead, in 1956, in Hungary, again due to the occupation of the Soviet army, a rebellion breaks out, but the revolt has been suppressed in the blood. So the most powerful weapon, the more incisive, the most effective, even the smarter, is the Rosary. In 1964, the communists were taking power in Brazil. The Brazilians went down to the streets with the Rosary and saved the country. In 1975, in Portugal, the communism took power for 18 months. The Portuguese started to pray the rosary and they overturned the government peacefully, naturally. With the rosary, we emanate light that drives out demons. The demons instigate wars, therefore the rosary drives away the wars. Zaro. 2013. Pray a lot, because this war will be very bloody. Many of my children will lose their lives. Please pray so that all this horror can be alleviated. The bloodiest and fiercest war of all times is coming, so start organizing the rosaries. Luisa Picarreta visionary of Puglia in Bari. She receives a vision from Jesus on 1917 and she sees Italy invaded by foreigners who carry out carnage 
And Jesus says, I have to allow all this to happen. So let's go back to the topic of allowing to ensure that Italy purifies itself. And the visionary says, no, Jesus, wait, stop yourself. Placate, stop now. And Jesus, oh, no, you just pray and I will make the enemy less cruel. Cruelty is always inspired by the demons, so the prayer relieves the ferocity and brutality of the human being. Capua, 2003, Caserta. Be united in community prayer. It will be your strength and your salvation. The magnifying glass under the sun it concentrates the solar energy and compacts it in a powerful ray that if we direct it towards a sheet of paper, it burns it. The same happens with the daily and community prayer. The light we emanate is concentrated and compacted in a ray, in a column, in a pillar of light that holds back the ugliness, the disasters, the laws of nature. Paratico, 1999. I ask you to create many prayers groups because the prayer groups, my children, are pillars that rise towards the sky and I support that net that you do not see. You do not see. But that net holds back the ugliness. That net holds back the danger. Medjugorje, 1982. You have forgotten that with prayer and fasting, you can also ward off the wars and even with all the laws of nature. On 1945, at Hiroshima, the famous atomic bomb exploded. In a radius of 1,500 meters from the central point of explosion, all the buildings were swiped away and all the people have died instantly. I repeat, in a radius of 1,500 meters from the central point of explosion. At only 800 meters from the central explosion point, a house remained standing. In that house were present four Jesuit fathers that were taking breakfast. They heard a loud noise. The shock wave of the bomb hit them. It threw them to the ground. They got up and saw that around them all the people had died, charred, and had nothing. They have no cuts, wounds, bruises, burns, nothing. The houses around them have all collapsed and reduced in ashes, but the house has remained standing. In that house, the Jesuits used to pray the rosary every day, so the pillar of light was formed that protected them from the atomic bomb. But it did not end here. Over the time, despite the radiation they have absorbed, the Jesuit never had any kind of health problems. They were visited, analyzed by 200 Japanese and American doctors and they did not give any kind of explanation. They could not give any explanation. Their body did not contain any radiation and had no damage of any kind. Monfenera, Apparitions in Veneto, 2013. Never be ashamed to show that you carry my rosary, a powerful weapon more than a bomb. So these messages are not given by, by chance. Trevignano Romano, 
Treviniano Romano 2020. My safe shelters will be the prayer, the sacrifices, penance, and what God has already prepared for you. Carbonia 2021. The houses will grow and will be many, and all will have the presence of God in these places. There will be the light. Nothing will be lacking. God will provide to everything, while in the rest of the earth, everything will be burned by fire. In my shelters, our refuge, my children. Here it is what the famous shelters are. They are the pillars of light that protect from demons, from wars, from the brutality of men, from bombs, from radiations, from the laws of nature. Anguera, Apparitions of Brazil, 2006. Be known that this place will be a great shelter for many faithful. Here God will accomplish great wonders. I still have noble things to realize here. Where the rosary is always prayed, in the places of apparitions, so the places of apparitions will be protected, will be shelters. San Bonico, Apparitions in Piacenza, 2012. Come here where I have chosen the field for the world world. Nothing will happen to you, nothing, at any time, even in the catastrophes that will happen. Here there is the peace and life. In many other places, this will happen. Paratico. Children, these lands are beloved by me and will be protected by me during the times of the trial. Monfenera. 2013, Monfenera. The evil enemy wants to destroy this place but he will never, ever be able to do it. Keep it in mind, never and ever. In the tribulation it is written that Rome, the city of the seven hills, will be massacred and persecuted. In Rome there are several new places of apparitions in Belletri, Giglio, Tralespine, Valeria Copponi, Trevignano Romano. How is it possible to think that in this places nothing will happen since nearby there will be the greatest persecutions and the greatest war. Trevignano Romano 2020 Prepare safe shelters for the times that are coming. The ongoing persecution is in place. Always be attentive. Medjugorje, 1984. Their children have chosen in a special way this parish and it's my wish to guide it. With love, I protect it and I wish everyone to be mine. Our Lady in Medjugorje had announced a war in Bosnia. And so that happened. The Serbian Air Force was going to bomb Medjugorje. The pilot of the plane he arrives near the parish and sees that it forms under the plane a stain that prevents him from seeing what was underneath. He understands the stain is not of natural origin, it's not a cloud, he is frightened and comes back without dropping any bomb. Medjugorje has never been touched in a war that has caused hundreds of thousands of deaths, with entire countries raised to the ground. If a war breaks out 100 meters from a place of apparition, but the Heavenly Mother decides that the place must not be touched, so that way happens. Carbonia, 2020. 
you will suffer the attack of many nations that will revolt and enter into war. Prepare your shelters, prepare your homes, prepare your souls. Lutz de Maria 2020 You will be able to stay united in the moments of strong persecution of war. Store the essential things for you to stay until my angels will let you know. These shelters will be protected from the invasion. 2019 Majority of humanity is living a great spiritual tragedy and the few who will persevere should return to the catacombs due to persecution. Therefore, the shelters can be our homes, some hidden places, the catacombs, the places of apparition of the present and of the past, such as Fatima, La Salette, Peña Blanca, Lourdes, but at one condition. Monfenera 2013. This holy and blessed place was chosen by the Heavenly Father solely and exclusively for prayer and nothing more. Money and any sort of alienation must not exist. Myself, three years ago, I went to Lourdes with a group of pilgrims led by a priest. I paid for a trip, then I spoke to the priest and he told me that, included in the travel expense, we all have paid two euro a day, one euro for the morning mass and another euro for the evening mass, celebrated in the sanctuary of Lourdes. In Lourdes, the business has entered the interest a bad round of money. Oliveto Citra, Apparitions in Salerno, 2011. Pray for Lourdes because not everyone goes there by faith and I suffer a lot when I see people who use the beautiful lady for their own interests. Therefore, there too there will be a punishment so that the world can open its eyes and understand that God is there. On 17th of October, beware of the date, 17th of October 2012, help me to pray for Lord, because the cave is run by atheists and I don't want this. Atheists are all those who pretend to love, who pretend to serve Jesus, the one who must be served with love. The Heavenly Mother confirmed that at Lourdes there is the business and will be punished. Four days later to this message, namely on 21st October 2012, what happened? Let's see this video.
Olivetto Citra, 2013. Pray for Lord. Never forget it. There will be punishments there because the beautiful lady has not been considered for everything she did. There, they are only interested in power, in managing, but nothing is about faith conversions. Lourdes was flooded, 500 pilgrims evacuated. People have asked by why all this is happening. It happens because the will of God is no longer considered. And the Heavenly Mother announces other punishments. Let's see this video. Always in Oliveto Citra, 19 June 2013. Also in Lourdes, many things will change. God the Almighty Father started with the punishments that will not end until they recognize the intervention of God. Zaro, 2014. I saw the mother of Lourdes, under her feet a river was flowing. The second flood came on June 18, 2013. On 19th June 2013, the day after, the Heavenly Mother at Oliveto Citra and in the apparitions of Zaro, in the message of 2014, she announces other punishments, other floods, and so it happens. On 2018, another flood has happened. So, the refuge remains so if the will of God remains fulfilled, the rosary, the deeds, the truth, the light, and we do not let the darkness enter with our miseries. Oliveto Citra 2020 Soon the places where I appeared will be a point of reference for the souls who want to pray and be near the Holy Trinity, but only the places that will remain humble. Many will be highlighted from God, the Almighty. The famous water of Lourdes, when the place was still humble, was making great miracles. A lady in 1858 had her hand, her arm completely paralyzed. She put her hand and arm in the water and instantly, as if nothing had happened, she began to move her fingers and her arm. Now the water of Lourdes has still some beneficial effects, but no more same as before. Anyway, you still can go to Lourdes to pray and ask forgiveness to the Heavenly Mother. In San Bonico, the apparitions of Piacenza I say that because I got converted there and I've been there. There is no money. They do not sell sacred objects. There are no profit interests of any kind. The place has remained humble and will be highlighted by God. San Bonico, message 164. My children pray here among you one day will come to touch the water that the Lord will gush out. It will be you one day here in the midst of everyone to find water for all those who are waiting for the moment. I will give you a great sign. Riveto Citra 2012 Also here I will donate the water 
that will gush out from the rock, the water that will heal, and this place will become like Lourdes. We will leave times when the food and water will be lacking, and in the places of apparitions there will be water, not only to quench our thirst, but also to heal from innumerable misfortunes and diseases that will strike the humanity. Carbonia, 2016. I was filled with water, the wells, the wells, and bounds of my children because the time has come to its end. I will sustain my children until all is accomplished in the total purification. Mother Speranza was a nun who received messages from Jesus. She did great deeds for the needy. She prayed a lot, and one day Jesus told her, Have a well dug. He points out the exact spot with his foot, and he adds, This water will heal many people physically and spiritually. Mother Speranza calls an engineer. She asks him to dig the well. The engineer do the seismic control by irradiating waves to the ground to check if there was water underneath. And he says, it is useless to dig here because underneath there is no water. It's all clay and there are no aquifers. But Mother Speranza says, no, 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 Jesus told me to dig here, so let's be digged here. The excavation begins and at about 120 meters deep, approximately, they find water that shouldn't have been there. Jesus again appears to Mother Speranza and says, make 10 pools to be constructed, and so she does. One day a man shows up with his mother and says, my mother had her eyes operated on the retinas and after the operation she no longer recovered her sight. But the Vatican still hadn't given the permission to the public to use the pools. So they say, look, there is a fountain there and it's the same water of the well, the same water of the pools. The woman goes to confession, goes to the mass, goes to the fountain. She wets her face with that water and begins to scream. She can see. She reads the writings on the wall. She reads the page of a book. She starts to look at her son happily. She touches him. And what they do? They go back to the hospital in Perugia. They get the medical documentation. The woman had done the x-ray on her eyes in the morning and at that time the retinas resulted detached. After getting wet with the water, the retinas were in place and she could see perfectly. The doctors themselves were amazed and brought forward the medical documentation. There are the medical documents of more than Dozens of unexplained healings of tumors, leukemia, and paralysis thanks to that water. The water that there will be in the shelters will have the same beneficial effects. Let's see this video. Mother Esperanza, also herself, has been marked by the stigmata. She had so much suffering, she was attacked by the devil. And I remember that yourself presenting a project that the Heavenly Mother has spoken to you, you mentioned about the drilling of a well that until now has not been allowed. And the same thing happened to Mother Speranza about the well that uh, pulled out a beneficial water for everyone. The Heavenly Mother, one day, she asked me, she told me that there at the cross where we pray, we reunite every third of the month, there would have been the water, a well. And 
it would have been a water for the healing of a body and soul of the people. And obviously, it's all complicated because there actually, there could not be a well there in a the sense that it's a park, it's a difficult place, there are constraints, but I absolutely believe in what the Heavenly Mother says. So I'm convinced that that will happen. And Mother Speranza, one day in desperation, I was saying, Mother, how can I do it? It's impossible here to make it. Only you can help me. And Mother Speranza said, I will be close to you. Be relaxed. It has been difficult for me too, but I'm close to you and the water will come out. So this was the experience I made with Mother Speranza. Also at uh, Trevignano Romano, at the place where we pray at the Blue Cross, there will be a well with water that will physically and spiritually heal the people. And there will be a great need. At the places of apparition, even if underground there is no water, there it will gush out beneficial water for all. Just as it is written in the book of Numbers, the Israelites were complaining to Moses and Aaron because there was no water nor food. Moses stands aside, begins to pray, take the stick of Aaron, eats the rock wall, and water begins to gush out of nowhere. Jacare 2014 what will be impossible for me that I'm God, who made water gush out of a stone to quench the thirst of my people, me who dropped manna from heaven to satiate the hunger of my chosen people, of my children? What will be impossible for me that I have made through Elia that the oil of the widow of Zarepta would never finish? Me, who truly am the God of the impossible. Carbonia 2015. Do not get worried about tomorrow, because tomorrow is I am. In me, you will be everything you need. Your meals will abound in your canteens. You will feed even your brothers. Elia had gone to Zarepta and had met a widow with her son. They, they only had a handful of flour and a bottle with some oil in it. Elia want to test the woman's charity and tell her, prepare a meal for me. The woman prepares everything she has, so she passed the test. From that moment onwards, the oil that was poured from the bottle was never decreasing its level, and the same for the flower. In the shelters there will be water and food in unlimited quantities. Luz de Maria, Luz de Maria 2015 The Great Famine is approaching humanity. For this I'm alerting you, not that you prepare yourself materially, but to grow spiritually. And through this way, you would allow my son to multiply what you own. Carbonia, 2008. My harvest will be in you, for my people. Do provide yourself with all the stuffs at least those of basic necessity. I will multiply them through my spirit in you. My spirit in you. It's not the kind of time to be wasted in the worldly hogwash. Capua 2009. Everything created was the work of the Holy Spirit. When we raise the light of our lamps, our frequencies, some channels that get open that allow the transit of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has created everything. The Holy Spirit is also the spirit of intelligence 
and contains the code of all creation. It can multiply anything. But if we behave in a selfish way, we move away the light and we let the darkness enter, then what happens? Gaetano Marino, 2012, where hatred and contempt towards the life is breeded, there it does not enter the Holy Spirit. Carbonia, 2010. Jesus is telling me, the provisions that will be made, they should be shared with it all the conference, with all those who will come knocking at the door, who will need a help. Because whoever does not give a hand to the one coming to knock at the door, his food will decay, and there will be not left even for him. Remember that me only am a providence, and that me only I multiply everything, and that me only I create everything from note. You do not share, you are not tuned with the light, and food becomes a meal for worms. I create everything from note. Not only water can gush out from note, but also the food. Mother Speranza, besides the pools, she had a canteen. One day, they were supposed to arrive from Milano five buses for lunch, at least 150 people. There was a leg of a veal hanging from the ceiling, but it was remained only exclusively the bone. There was no more meat in the refrigerator and in the pots. The worried nuns organized themselves to send a gentleman to get the meat, but there was no more money. They see no solutions to the problem. At 11 a.m., meanwhile, Mother Speranza had started praying, and what happens? The nuns return to the kitchen and get amazed. They get startled. The bone of veal leg was completely surrounded by the meat, and in addition, they see four big pots full of sticks already cut. The food can materialize from not. However, to better understand what will happen in the shelters, you also look at the videos of Mother Speranza. Giglio tra le spine, Rome, 2014. Those who believe in God and pray the Holy Rosary will have nothing to fear since I will protect them in a special way and I will send the Holy Angels to guard them. Act of Apostles, 12. At that time, the King Herod began to persecute some members of the church. While Peter therefore was held in prison, from the church was raining incessantly a prayer to God from him. And what happens? And then an angel of the Lord showed up and a light blazed the cell and touched the side of Peter and woke him up. We live the time of the Antichrist reign and it will be settled prison camps for imprisonment. In these years there will be some apostles that will have special missions and will not always remain in the shelters, so they will need the help of the angels. Prayer invokes the presence of the angels who are carriers of light so they will be able, therefore, to execute all the prodigious events that will occur in the shelters. Multiplication of food, healing from diseases, materialize the food from note, just as it is written in 1 King 19. Elia was lying at the ground with no strength. 
it appears an angel and make it appear out of nothing a warm flat bread and a jug of water. Elia eats and drinks. As I have just read in Acts of the Apostles, the angel of light opened the door of the prison cell and made Peter escape. The organic and inorganic matter is composed by molecules that are very small spheres. I give an example. We have in front a beach composed by very small grains of sand. The molecules are like small grains of sand that make up the matter. The molecules remain united thanks to a net of bonds. The angels are able to break up the matter by dissolving the bonds of the molecules. They can play at their will with the matter. They can open the door of a prison with extreme ease. Carbonia, 2016. In Europe now will be declared a state of general alert. In all places there will be attacks from the enemies of God. Faith will be severely tested, but in truth I tell you that who he will call me father and will ask for my help, I will help him. My angels will save all those who recognize me as the only true God. Valeria Copponi, 2003 Saint Michael is the angel who will protect you in the last battle. Pray him fervently. You don't know how important his presence is. The boxers, a group of Chinese reauthors, on 19th century have carried out a ruthless and bloody revolt against the Chinese Catholic Christians causing thousands and thousands of martyrs. Monsignor Favier had barricaded himself in a small city called Petang. He prayed to Jesus, he prayed to the Heavenly Mother, then at the end of all the Masses and inside the schools he asked to recite the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel, and the Archangel intervened. In one episode, the reauthors entered in a cathedral and instead of shooting to people, they were shooting in the air. When the tensions ended, when the war ended, the guerrillas were questioned and they were told, but why at that time in the cathedral, instead of shooting at us, you shot in the air above? And the guerrillas replied, how come you have not seen? Above you there was a woman all dressed in white. Next to her there was a warrior fully armed with two wings and a large sword, that is St. Michael the Archangel, and behind them there was an army of soldiers all dressed in white. They also say that during a land attack, they arrived nearby the city of Petang and they were stopped by an invisible force. There was an invisible wall in front of them that prevented them from going farther. So they, shocked by terror, they ran away and they returned back. The angels can intervene in various ways. They intervene if we pray them and they have an unlimited power. Cavarzere 2020 The angels protect you. I will send the angels to this place and also to your homes. Trevignano Romano 2021 This house is blessed where my angels will duel 
to protect you. Carbonia 2020. You will be guarded by my angels in my safe places, in my shelters. Okay, but why the angels must guard the shelters? I just say that these are sacred places will be protected from any kind of catastrophe. So what else is supposed to happen? Anguera, 2006. Be attentive. In the magnetic field of the Earth, there will be holes that will bring imbalance to the life of men and animals. 2009. The force of nature will provoke never seen phenomena. Objects will be thrown from the ground by a force that men will not be able to explain. You will see things that human eyes have never seen. 2009. Nature will confuse men from the gravitational force of the earth. A great suffering and pain will come. The birds will collide and the pain will be great for my poor children. The nuclear explosions that we will see will generate breaking points in the Hertz magnetic field in the Van Allen belts that give balance and stability to the planet. Birds and whales orient themselves following the Hertz magnetic fields. Due to the imbalance of the Van Allen's belts, we will see more and more often whales pitching to sand and flocks of birds falling to ground lifeless. There will be holes in the Earth's magnetic field and we will see objects that instead of being attracted to the ground, they will be launched into the air. But this gravitational anomaly, however, it will also be caused by other phenomena. La Salette in France, 1846. The stars will lose their regular movements. The moon will reflect only a faint reddish light. The water and the fire will cause to the terrestrial globe convulsive movements and horrible earthquakes that will engulf the mountains and the cities. There will be scary wars and famine plagues and infectious diseases, it will rain a frightening hail of animals. The celestial bodies that are the moon, the planets, the stars, the comets, the asteroids, they have their own orbit. They revolve around the star, a sun, a planet, they always maintain a certain distance, so they also maintain a certain equilibrium. The statement the celestial bodies will lose their regular movements means that this equilibrium will be broken, this distance will be broken. The celestial bodies will attract more and more each other. They will get closer and closer. The moon when it gets closer to the Earth, it affects on its gravity. The oceans that are closer to the Moon, they raise their level. The proximity, the distance from the Moon determines the high and low tide. The celestial bodies, therefore, when they will get closer to the Earth, they will cause gravitational anomalies. The objects, instead of being attracted to the ground, they will be thrown into the air, just as the Heavenly Mother said at Anguera. Furthermore, they will also provoke earthquakes and enormous tsunamis, just because the oceans will be attracted, raised, due to the proximity to these celestial bodies. 
Lutz de Maria 2015. There are about to come moments when humanity will see itself subject to greater and continuous threats from space that will cause fear when the comets or the asteroids will get closer than normal. Carbonia 2021. The Earth is about to be touched by an asteroid that will create serious situations. The seas will rise, the Earth will tremble everywhere. So these natural disasters are the sign that the celestial bodies are getting closer and closer to the planet, but they're also the sign that we will be hit by the celestial bodies. El Escorial 2000. Celestial bodies longer than 12 kilometers will fall to her surface. After these signs that will come from the sky, then it will fall celestial bodies with certain mass, but they will not destroy the planet. Still, El Escorial 1982. My daughter. Tell everyone to ask to the Eternal Father to hold back his wrath and to hold back the stars with his army of angels. Carbonia, 2007. This comet will soon hit the Earth. My arm will dodge apart, the largest one. My arm will dodge apart. But apart, I will have to let it drop. 2017. This planet is about to be hit by a comet. Its impact will be strong. The heaven will intervene to decrease its strength. The angels, the army of Christ, have the power to hold the stars and dissect to cut a meteorite and so it will happen. A large comet will be directed towards our planet. The angels will cut away the largest part and the smallest part will hit us. Therefore, it is a perfect surgical calculated operation. And why? Carbonia, 2015. The Earth will be displaced from its orbit. It will be turned away from the Sun. 2014. It's about to fall to the Atlantic Ocean, the asteroid that will cause the darkness. 2014. The ocean is about to be hit by the asteroid. A great fire will take the Earth. The Earth will be turned away from the Sun. Joseph Stoker in Germany. God himself will intervene, therefore with its army, the earth will be thrown out of its course. Here too he says so. And the sun will no longer give it any light. The darkness will be all over the globe for 72 hours, three days, the three days of darkness. Patricia Talbot in Ecuador, the Holy Virgin said the Earth will go out of its orbit for three days. Here too it confirms it. At that point the second coming of Christ will be near. An asteroid will hit the Atlantic Ocean causing the famous three days of darkness. The Earth will step out of its orbit, it will move away from the sun, there will be a universal expansion. Our planet will enter to another orbit precisely because the geography of the universe will change. Isaiah 65. Here, in fact, I create, I create new skies and new land. Psalm 103. 
The Lord has established his throne in the sky, and his kingdom embraces the universe. Bless the Lord, you all his angels, you powerful executors of his commands. The kingdom of heaven embraces the universe. The heavens are matched to the universe. When in Isaiah he says, I create new skies, it means that the Father with his hand, with his army of powerful angels, executors of his commands, he's changing the geography of the universe. The angels have the power to change the geography of the universe. In fact, as I told you before, it's all a meticulously calculated operation. The comet directed towards our planet will be dissected. The largest part will be removed to make sure that the smallest part has a weight, a mass, an impact speed suitable to push the planet out of its orbit and direct it to another orbit. In the new kingdom on Earth, then we will see the stars, the planets, the celestial bodies arranged in a totally different way. There will also be new skies, new skies and new Earth. Now we begin to understand why the angels will guard also the shelters. Lutz de Maria, I saw the angels of God in front of the darkness that were picking up the good people and quickly they were bringing them to their homes and the innocent people, they were taking them somewhere else. In a moment, I seen all the hurt, dark hurt, all the hurt was in convulsion. People who will find themselves far from the shelters, but they do deserve salvation, will be teleported instantly by the angels to the protected houses. So it will be totally useless to escape to the left or right, as many prophecies say. In the Second World War, a spiritual daughter of St. Pio had totally lost track of one of her cousins. Thanks to the advice of St. Pio, this lady writes a letter with the name and surname of her cousin. She puts the letter on a bedside table. She prays her guardian angel. She goes to sleep. And the next morning she wakes up and sees that the letter is no longer there. After 15 days she receives a letter from her cousin with all the answers written to the question she had asked. And what happened? The angel teleported the letter to her cousin who then replied. The angels are able to teleport human beings organic bodies and inorganic bodies like a letter instantly from one place to another. Carbonia 2021 God the Father will gather all his children his shelters and then he will take them to himself and will put them in the new dimension. 2014, the children of God will take refuge in their own homes and they will prepare for their rapture. These shelters, these pillars of light, there will be dimensional portals to pick up, to rapture the chosen ones and take them where? Cavarzere 2014, I will not make you lack of anything because at my command the angels will come down and will take you to the safe place. Anguera 2009, the true children of God will be placed in a safe place. 
the angels of the Lord will be sent to care for my chosen ones. Gospel John 14 When I will be gone and have prepared a place for you, I will come again and will take you with me, so that where I am, you too may be. Jesus, already knowing that he would have purified the earth, changed the geography of the universe, he announced that he would prepare a safe place for his chosen ones, while this universal purification would occur. Giampidieri 2014 The Father will send his many angels, naturally for the chosen ones, and the deserving people will be raised to the place of temporary residence until all the earth is purified. Carbonia 2020 The Lord God will open the skies and move all the planets. Will move all the planets, as I said before. You will change the geography of the universe. You will be taken by surprise and you will be taken by my angels. You will be transported to a celestial planet, to a celestial planet, where there you will stay for three days and nights until on earth my prophecy is fulfilled. The kingdom of the Father embraces the universe. The dwellings of the Father are also planets. In fact, in the near-death experiences, everyone sees a tunnel with the light at the bottom. They enter into the light and see large gardens, huge trees, heavenly vegetation. All they are happy. The angels will take the chosen ones. They will take them to a higher dimension, to a planet with higher frequencies and less dense matter while the planets of the solar system will change their position. Trevignano Romano, 2021 You will be raptured by my angels and taken to a safe place until it resurrects as a paradise. In a new era, in a new earth, with new skies. After that, the angels will bring the chosen ones back to the planet and there will be new skies and new earth. About new skies, I already told you why. Stars and planets are arranged differently. New land because the earth, the planet, will have a different geography. The continents will be physically moved. Now, I go back to the topic of before. People will have some important life choices, we already know which ones, and they ask me, what shall we do? Oliveto Citra, 2004. Always invoke my son Michael, the most powerful archangel in heaven. Never be afraid because no one will ever touch you, even with a finger. I take this opportunity to appeal to all the priests, let people recite the prayer of Saint Michael, the Archangel, at the end of all Masses, and do organize rosaries appeal to the disabled people who are on a wheelchair, who have lost their sight, who are blind, to the elderly people. We all have a mission. We all have to fight. So do organize rosaries. If you can't do it physically, do it by WhatsApp or Internet, the way you want, but just do it. 
to those who have never prayed the rosary, do pray a dozen of Ave Maria every day. It takes few minutes, but do it every day. The Heavenly Mother is since 800 years that is asking to recite the rosary precisely because it is the most effective and powerful prayer. It is a weapon against catastrophes of any kind, wars, bombs, the laws of nature, the radiations, and we have had the scientific proofs. So take very seriously what I say. Carbonia, 2015. Don't grow up in cowardice, but donate yourself the chance of salvation. Oliveto Citra, 2018. I will protect all those who will announce the truth. Cavarzere, 2012. Nobody will touch you because you have an army all in your favor, the army of God. Lutz de Maria, 2015. You, beloved children, do not be afraid of earthquakes, neither of volcanoes or winds that will scourge, neither cold nor the heat. Be afraid to offend my son and be afraid not to repent for it. The army of Christ, as I said before, it can multiply the food, can heal from diseases, disgregate the matter, teleport instantly the people and objects from one place to another, send the meteorite to the earth, move the planet from one orbit to another, change the geography of the universe, take the elected ones and carry them to another planet. They have an unlimited power, but we do not know this army. Just because the world elite don't want us to come to know about this immense reality. They can do anything. They are powerless against the army of Christ. They can do nothing. But now we know it. So the time has come to get serious. Let's strictly put into practice the messages of the Heavenly Mother, the deeds of charity towards the needy. We do announce the truth with the utmost courage. Let's put our face on it. Let's spread these very important messages. Then the Rosary. Then let's be back to the Eucharist. Let's spread the truth also on these places of apparitions, which will be oases of peace, points of paradise in the midst of hell that have to come. And then we would have the right to invoke Saint Michael, the Archangel, to invoke the army of Christ and they will answer our call and they will accompany us daily in this terrible battle against the forces of evil and we will no longer be afraid of earthquakes of tsunamis of the bombs of nuclear radiations of the evil of mankind of the persecutions the only fear we should have will be to turn our backs to Jesus and not to repent for it, as the Heavenly Mother said. I, as always, ask for the diffusion of this video, especially to the weakest people. I ask for the translation of this video in English, in French, in Portuguese, Russian, Chinese, Arabic, in any language. Everyone must know the whole world and right now, right now. Dear friends, put into practice what I told you and you will see unimaginable results. Put into practice everything now. 
Dear friends, I'm done. Thank you and see you surely at the next video. Thank you very much.